a Linux is general purpose computer operating system. Originally built by Linus Torvalds in 1991, Linux is defined by its kernel which is core components of the system which interact with computer hardware to allow the software to work. Linux was inspired by the older Unix and is based on the philosophy that both the operating system and software should be free. Both free of cost and freely modifiable under the license of GNU, General Public License. What this means is the Linux becomes popular for different many applications and hundreds of variations of Linux have popped up. From server computer operating system to supercomputer specific distributions to mobile phone running Android and everywhere in between. But one of the most important distinction you need to be aware of one of genealogy. Most major distributions of Linux falling into four category based on the original distribution from which they derived. There is Debian, Red Hat, Arch and Slackware, and any other number of small distributions. Depending upon your industry your company and your institution or any number of other factors. You likely to end up learning command line on the system inherits from one of these distributions. But most likely you will be using one derived from Debian or Red Hat. Ubuntu, Kali Linux, Linux Mint, Elementary OS all derived from Debian. And Red Hat Enterprise Linux, CentOS and Fedora derived from Red Hat. The history of all different distributions of Linux is a kind of beyond the scope of this video. But what this means at its core is that you need to be aware of what system you are using and that many to adapt for what you are doing to counter difference between different distributions. At work for command line most of work is same across the major distributions. That because of we will be using bash shell which is available almost everywhere. As you extend your learning and explore software packages and system administrations you will start see differences. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it. Please like and share.